Hi, in this video tutorial, AmpleBlaze is going to show you how to turn on the read receipt functionality within a G Suite uh, business account. So if you have uh, a business and a domain with, uh, with many users, this is how you turn on the internal read receipt functionality within a G Suite account. Now, um, you've got to log on to the main um, super admin uh, console. And then once you're in there, you go into your apps tab. And we just wait for that to load. Now I've just got to mention that I've already got this turned on. Um, so I'm just going to show you basically where the, where the, where the function sits and how you enable it. And then um, it actually will take 24 hours. Google does advise it will take 24 hours for it to uh, take effect. So come back tomorrow morning, go into your email as normal, and then I'll show you where it sits. Um, you'll see this uh, few tabs. Click on the G Suite. So we've got 13 apps there. So just click that. And then you get all this find your Gmail, click on that So then you will see the Gmail app actually there. Uh, you can see that it's all, see it tells you read receipts. Um, so just click on user settings. And then you've got the functionality there. So here we go with the read receipt. Um, so email read receipts, this is for the entire domain. So you're not picking and choosing, this is the entire domain. Um, and right now, I've got to allow uh, email read receipts to be sent to any email address. So if you click on the pen, you will get some functionality there. So you can, cha you can change it to do not allow read receipts to be sent or allow read receipts to be sent to all addresses in my organization as well as whitelisted addresses. So this is more specific to leave read receipts within your organization only and other email addresses that you approve. Whereas the last option is just for everything, whether it's external or internal email addresses. Um, once that's done, you just hit save and then it will just advise you that it's gonna take effect. So once it takes effect, you go back to your main email and then you can compose and then within compose you will see uh, you will see the three dots and then within the three dots you will see re request a read receipt right there and then all you do is click on it and make sure that it's taken effect just click on the three dots again and then you'll see that's ticked so when you just re uh, write your email up, it will um, send that read receipt and prompt the end user as well. Okay, thanks for watching.